there was, and I want to transition though just for a moment to talk a little bit about the political implications about Senator Frank Lautenberg's seat now being vacated. Obviously, it is the responsibility of the governor of a state to fill an open Senate or congressional seat if someone passes away or resigns under fire. In this case, Chris Christie, we now know, has appointed as a temporary replacement his state attorney general, Jeffrey Chiesa. Chiesa's political views on a wide range of issues are not well known, as it was being discovered this week, but he describes himself as a conservative Republican, and of the one issue that he chose to highlight when talking about his policy agenda, he said, I'm concerned about the tightness of border security. That is an important issue, and given that he will probably in all likely to have a chance to vote on the upcoming immigration bill in the Senate, that could prove to be an interesting hurdle. Now, whether Senate Democrats will still be able to cobble together the more than 60 votes they need to break the filibuster, probably they will, but this does put one more vote in the Republican column. Now, Christie made bigger waves, however, for his decision to say that the special election for this Senate seat would occur not, not when the gubernatorial race would be, which is to say in November 2013, he's, Christie's running for re-election in 2013. It couldn't wait till November. Instead, he made it October, a month earlier. Okay, why wouldn't he just have it be in the election that November that they're already having statewide for the governor's race, one would ask. And certainly, you could say, well, okay, is he really that concerned about that extra 30 days that the residents of the state of New Jersey will have to wait to vote on a new nominee? Well, his proposed justification for this, his, his purported justification, is that if it occurs as part of this broader gubernatorial race, party committees will get the chance, it may not need to go through a primary process. Party committees will have the chance to nominate their preferences. But it seems like that flexibility or statute forcing those party committees to hold a primary process probably could be worked around. And so some people are suggesting that Chris Christie did not want to have a high-profile Democratic Senate race in a state that has 700,000 more registered Democrats than Republicans go on at the same time that he's running for re-election against a Democrat. Now, you might say, well, Christie's up in the head in the polls by miles against his Democratic opponent, State Senator Barbara Buono, a progressive Democrat from New Brunswick, New Jersey, in the Middlesex County area. But Christie really wants to win by, like, more than 60 percent, so that he can then say, I, have, as a Republican, have a mandate, a, have won by a mile in a traditionally Democratic state. I am perfectly positioned to get the Republican nomination for president in 2020 or 2016, as the case may be. And so he's really pushing, people believe, to not be on the same ticket as, let's say, Cory Booker, who some believe was, will be the front runner to take the Democratic nomination for Senate and is an extremely popular Democrat. Well, here's how the politics of that are looking right now. What did it cost to create an entirely new election one month before the state was having a statewide race for governor to have this election in October 2013 instead of November 2013? $25 million. Again, $25 million. And this from the great fiscal hawk, Chris Christie, who has slashed state services over and over and over again. People, the workers' pensions, their cost of living adjustments, state school, school funding. There have been layoffs at, at the school and local level. Uh, fun, state funding for low-income children. And in fact, some Democrats are finally pointing this out. They feel like they've got an issue that, have, that finally has traction against Christie. That he cut $10 million from after-school programs for children in the state's most troubled cities. $8.6 million in tuition subsidies for college students. $12 million in charity care for hospitals. That's what the equivalent of that $25 million could or would pay for. But he was defiant. He said that this was essential. This would give the people the primary process they need and want. Wouldn't go through state committees. He said, quote, I don't care what the cost is. And I quite frankly don't care. Or I don't know what the cost is, rather. And I don't quite frankly don't care. I don't think you can put a price tag on what's, what it's worth to have an elected person in the United States Senate. Well... Is it a price tag on what it's worth to have an elected person in the United States Senator, Gov Governor Christie? Or is it a price tag on your political ambitions and desire to not be on the same ticket as Newark Mayor Cory Booker when he runs for Senate as a Democrat? That's really the question here. And I think, shame on you, Governor Christie, for not making this more of an open process. But, you know, it's like Game of Thrones, the hit HBO show. I think that the people of New Jersey 
respect a man who knows how to take power, sadly. That's why they admired the HBO series based on based on their own goings on in the state, The Sopranos. I mean, this is New Jersey is one of the states with one of the strongest governorships in the country and one of the weakest state legislatures. And it's for this reason. And I think that there's a real politique component here that kicks in and, and says, man, this guy cares enough about an agenda that he knows how to seize power and shove it through. But uh, whether whether the people will vote for that agenda remains to be seen. And I, and I think that uh, ultimately the, the, the voters in New Jersey need to wake up. I no longer vote there, but I'm telling you, mom, dad, family, you got to wake up. This guy's crazy. Well, actually, they'd never vote for Christie, so it's kind of not by, beside the point. Of course, the Democratic primary process should also be interesting because Cory Booker, the mayor of Newark, is running against Frank Pallone, a congressman from the New Brunswick area once again, and of course, Rush Holt, another congressman from central New Jersey. He's my grandfather's congressman who lives in Monroe. This should be an interesting race to watch, of course. And uh, you're listening and watching to Take Action News. David Schuster is going to retake the mic after this, but keep following us. We're going to cover this Christie election. Take Action News continues after this.